Hi, I'm Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm glad you're joining me today. You can find me at stampwithdeb.com and I am here on, I'm on Facebook Live every Tuesday at three o'clock and Pacific time. And um, I'm so happy you're here with me today. Let's get started. I have a really fun project for you today. If you joined me on my Facebook Live this week, this is the card that you saw. Let's move this stuff out of the way. This is the card that you saw me make, and it's made with um, the suite from the uh, Crane of Fortune bundle. And so it's a, it's a pop-up card and really fun. So this morning, I'm going to show you how I used that same suite and made, it should be a tuxedo card, because I think it looks like a tuxedo, but it's called an arrow card. So this is a really fun and easy card to do. And I, um, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I'm gonna start with my card base. It's, and all these measurements will be on stampwithdeb.com. And you can find me there. And so my card base is four and a quarter by, I mean, yeah, four and a quarter by 11. And I am going to mark my base here. I've scored it at five and a half. And I'm going to mark it at two inches. And I'm just going to use my grid paper here. And four inches from the bottom. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the same thing again and mark it at two inches on this side and four inches. Okay, now I am going to take my paper trimmer and I am going to move my cutting blade out of the way because I'm not going to cut, I'm going to score. So I'm going to score from my half inch, I mean from my half way mark, my um, five and a half inch line. Oh, wait a minute, there's one more line I have to mark. So I'm going to mark at the bottom here, I'm going to mark at two and one eighth because that is the center of the width. So now I'm going to score from my center score line of the card to that two and one eighth inch mark at the bottom. And scoring there. And then I'm gonna score from, you know, that four inch mark that I made. I'm gonna go from there to that two and one eighth inch mark at the bottom and the two inch mark that I made, I am gonna go from there to the two and one eighth inch mark at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my card and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna turn it this way so I have my two and an eighth at the top and it gives me more to hold on to, which is good. And score at, whoops, I should have started at the half. Okay, I did the four inch one. So I'm gonna go back up here and catch my half. So I'm gonna score at my five and a half inch mark, which is my halfway line to the card. Then I did my four inch, and now I'm gonna go down to my two inch and score from my two inch to my two and one eighth inch right there. This one I have a tendency to wanna to cut off, um, but the instructions that I read didn't indicate that. Um, but I think it would make it easier for folding. Um, looking for my bone folder, which I had here. Okay. So I'm gonna use my bone folder and I'm gonna score. I'm going to fold this so that this, okay, this is my, my card. I'm gonna fold it so this is my front and I'm gonna fold that longest line first and I'm gonna fold it mountain. So it's coming up on the front of the card, right? And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Just creasing that with my bone folder and I wanna do it really, really good because I want that. And I'm wondering if I did it both directions, if that gives me more flexibility and it will give me a better um, lay, the front of it to lay down, make it lay down better. Okay, now I'm gonna do that with my four inch and the four inch is really close to that one. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with my four inch line and I'm gonna score it both directions. I just think that that's going to give me 
more flexibility when it comes to folding it and getting it to lay down. My glue would not hold it down. Even my green glue would not hold it. it um, I put blue dots on it. I used um, stamp and seal. The only thing I didn't use is tear and tape. Okay, and then this one, and the last one is my two inch to my two and a quarter. And I'm just gonna fold that one. That one, I'm not gonna worry about that one too much. Um, okay, so let's see, he needs to go, yeah, that way. So I'm gonna fold, he's a mountain. Okay, so now when I come back in, I'm gonna fold this under, this over. So I'm gonna burnish that one really good. And then this one, yeah, this one, <laughs> wait a minute, am I going the right way? Yes, one, two, and then this one goes under, yes. See, that's why I feel like I should, if I just cut that off, I don't need that there, but it does make a nice finish for the in, a better finish for the inside of the card. Okay. So we'll leave it there. So it makes a little point on the inside of the card here that will come together. And I'm just going to burnish this really, really good because it's um, kind of dusty. Okay. So you can see the arrow coming together, right? And I think by doing the folds both directions, it helped. I am gonna use a little tear and tape this time. I did not do that last time. I wanna be really careful where I put it because I don't want it on the front. I'll just cut that off. And I don't want it to show on the front of my card. So this is the area right under here where my tear and tape can go. Let's see how high can I go. That's about it. So just check and see, because you're not gonna get it real high and you're not gonna get a whole lot of it on there before it starts to show. So I'm just gonna put a little piece in here and see if that doesn't hold it better. Okay, so there, and then we'll need it on the inside here. So I'm going to put some in here on both sides of this. And we may put some on top. So let's just go ahead and get that to stick really good first. And this too, I want it to stay. Right, I'll just take my bone folder and burnish it a little bit. Okay, so now this is gonna go just like that. That's much better. The other one, I just fought it and fought it. And this one's gonna go, whoops, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna peel these off. And just overlap them. That's done really good. Okay. All right, there we are with the front of that. Now we're going to decorate it. So that is your card right there, the mechanism of the card, the card base. Um, so then for the inside of my card, I just cut two pieces, one piece of cardstock and a piece of designer series paper. And this is the designer series paper that is in that suite. And I love it. Every piece is gorgeous. They, it's so beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to attach this to a piece of Calypso coral. And like I said, all those measurements are, will be on my blog. They're not there yet, but they will be. And as well as this video. So you'll know how to do that card base. And I'm just going to put this on the inside. Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes cutting triangles doesn't work too well for me. So I'm going to show you how I cut my triangles to decorate the front. So I know that my card is five and a half by four and a quarter. So the next size down would be five and a quarter by four. So I cut a Calypso coral triangle, which is going to go right here. Um, I didn't, I cut a piece of paper on cardstock. And so it's cut at the five and a quarter by four dimensions. And I'm going to mark it at, I know half of four is two inches. So I'm gonna mark this at two inches down here at the bottom. 
And this is a super easy way to cut triangles. And so then I'm just going to go from that top right corner to that center mark, which is two inches. Oops, cut with the cutting blade. And then I'm gonna go from the bottom, that two inch mark up to this, the other corner, the other top corner basically. Um, just like that. And as long as you come in right at those marks, you should, your triangle should be fine. So then I needed another triangle that is basic white to go on the front of here. Let me grab my card, so to go on the front. And so I did the same thing here. So here I did a quarter of an inch smaller on my card. So my card is five inches by three and three quarters. So now my mark is going to be at one and seven eighths. So I'm once again going to take the paper and put it in my cutter and put my one and seven eighths inch mark on that cutting line. And the other one is the corner, the top right corner. And then I'm going to go from that cutting mark down at the bottom up to the other corner. And there you are. So for mine, I embossed. Um, with the tasteful textile embossing folder. So it came out really pretty. So I'm just gonna add that to the front of my card here, to the Calypso Coral triangle that I cut. Just leaving that little bit of a margin all the way around and see how perfect that is. The margin is just what we wanted. Um, so the, the real key to it is cutting your paper down before you cut your triangle out. So then I'm just going to attach this to the front of my card. A little bit of glue there. Seemed to have the shakes this morning. Not enough coffee. Maybe too much coffee. Oh, I had a different coffee this morning. That, that makes me think. Yeah, maybe that's what. Um, different brand. Okay, and then this flower, I have to tell you about these flowers, guys. These are the most beautiful flowers and they are the DSP. So what I did is I took the dies that came in the bundle and if you don't know this, every, almost every time we have a suite like this, there's one die at least that will cut out. So this one will cut out the flower. This one will cut out one of the, um, the birds, the cranes. Um, I don't think the rest of them cut anything out, but I haven't really tried. I mean, we may find that they do. But by just taking this and putting it on the DSP and cutting it, I have this beautiful flower. Really, So this makes it a really quick card if you're using this paper. Um, and keep in mind that you know how you get the designer series paper and sometimes the print is so that the flower runs off the edge. This would be a perfect place to use one of those partial flowers right in here. So I could have cut one of those partial flowers and put it in here. So it looks like it's coming in off the side and it would look like it was done intentionally. Okay, so I'm going to attach this with glue dot, I mean with dimensionals. Put my flower on here. This will give me a second card for this set. And I don't have to worry about going over on edges because, I mean, except for the top edge, because these edges have the background of the card under them. So it's okay to go off the edge. Um, also, I used my, um, what they call it? Stitch triangle dies to cut a triangle to go on the inside. I contemplated putting it in upside down, but decided that I would just be conformed to it and put it in right side up. But it gives you a little place to write so you're not writing on the DSP um, if you don't want to. And it just adds a little something to the card. So when you open it up, you could stamp a greeting right in there and that would really be cute. And then it's closed so you don't see it. You still see your beautiful paper on the outside. Okay, the other thing that I did is stamp a greeting. So I have, am using the greeting from um, one of my favorite sets right now. 
I know I have lots of favorite sets. It's expressions of friendship. And I love the greetings in this. This is a hostess set, so you can only get it if you place a $150 order. But it is in the catalog right now in the January through June catalog. And um, if you need one of those catalogs, let me know. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp my greeting. And I'm just going to use my paper trimmer here and trim this out. This is just on one of those scraps that was left from cutting out my triangles. And again, it's just, it ends up being about a half inch. So if you cut yours ahead of time, you just need about a half inch piece of paper for your greeting. See how straight I can cut and stamp? <laughs> I can stamp the words straight and cut them or stamp the words crooked and cut them that way. Probably should have cut this before. Okay, it's not too bad. It came out okay. Okay, so then I'm just going to flag the ends of this. And I had this greeting sitting on my table from Tuesday's video. And so I thought, you know what, this is just a perfect one to um, do. And then you could stamp happy birthday on the inside. Today is all about you. Um, get well, <laughs> you know. It could be anything. Today is all about you. Whatever is going on in your life today. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna attach this with some green glue right in the middle because I don't care if the flaps hang over on the edges, but I want it good and secure in the middle. And I wanna come down a little bit so that my bow will fit there. And I'm gonna tie a bow using the um, Evening Evergreen, the open weave ribbon which is what all our in colors come in now, this open weave ribbon, all of the current in color, all of the, not even the current, they're um, this year's in colors. How about that? <laughs> 2021, 22. So um, I'm gonna add my bow with a glue dot. So as I locate them again, And then I have sitting on my desk here, I should have made my bow a little smaller, I think, but he's okay. Okay, I have some iridescent rhinestones, which have been sitting on my desk for all the whole week. Um, and so I am going to just add a couple of those. And I'm gonna put one right down here at the tip of my, Let's see, doesn't it look like a tuxedo? I think it looks like a tuxedo. It should be called a tuxedo card. Although I know that there's that I did a tuxedo card last week or week before last week. Um, so there is a beautiful card made out of the um, Queen of Fortune bundle suite. So if you need any of these products, let me know. And thank you so much for being with me. You can find me at stampwithdeb.com.